it's 2024 and that means new year resolutions and for us emacs users new year's resolution simply means to learn more about emacs so i compiled a list of other youtubers and some other resources where you can go ahead and learn from some more emacs stuff so let's go ahead and get started shall we so first off is that i'm going to show off mainly the youtube channels that i found that were consistently pumping out uh e emacs uh Emacs heavy content in their channel. So first off, um, it's I'm going to talk about the channels that were more Emacs heavy and then some who were Emacs plus other stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the Emacs heavy videos, uh, channels I mean. So first off, we'll see some pretty familiar videos, uh, Emacs elements. If we go to their channel, we will see that they are consistently pretty much just about Emacs and as you can see I watch their channel and I subscribe and follow because I obviously I like this channel I like how the way he teaches and I think it's pretty pretty good so if you don't follow I highly recommend that you do but yeah let's continue the list next off is Prot so Prot he is pretty well known in the Emacs community he does a lot of good videos a lot of uh, well thought out videos for example right here as you can see I watched some of his videos and I enjoy it I highly suggest that you that you follow that you subscribe and look out for his videos um, I would say that his videos are more well thought out than mine and he explains the things in a much more coherent and succinct way than I usually do in my videos so it's something that I'm going to work on this following year but hopefully I can catch up to the way he teaches things in such a you know easy to digest manner. Next up is that we have Emacs Comp. So what better way to learn from Emacs than to actually learn from the Emacs conferences that they have. So if we go to their YouTube channel, we will see that they have a plethora of Emacs videos. So there will be no shortage of videos that you want to learn. And you'll probably learn some new stuff like I learned about GNU Hyperbol. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always get confused, but it's something that I want to check out and I probably will this coming year. But for now, it's just you know in the watch list. <laughs> Up next is System Crafters. Now, System Crafters is a pretty big channel. It has 32k subscribers. So, in the Emacs world, 32k is you know you're a rock star at that point. So, this person is pretty well known in the Emacs community, and they have pretty good videos. I've seen a few of them. I really like them. But yeah, highly suggest check them out. Of course. Next, we have DistroTube. DistroTube is more about, I guess, Linux focus, but this person does talk about Emacs and their config. For example, I believe if we go to videos, one of the recent ones, yeah, right here. This was three weeks ago, so Emacs does everything, including viewing PDFs and divs. So right here, about three weeks ago. And it is a pretty big channel, around 3,200K plus subscribers, so pretty big. Next is Howard Arams. So Howard Arams was one of the first persons that I found about when I was starting my Emacs journey like almost a decade ago. Sounds weird saying that, but yeah. So I highly suggest checking out his videos. One of the videos that I really do like was his introduction to eShell, which got me using eShell for pretty much 90% of everything. And then for the rest of the 10%, I use Bterm, mostly just because of GUI uh, applications or when I'm doing some weird stuff with Docker or something where I need, you know, something where I need a little bit more than just what eShell provides. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to be talking about other channels that are Emacs and mixed content together. So first off, one of them is Christopher. Now, I won't be clicking through every single one of these links because that will make the video longer. And I just want to talk about what other resources or other channels you can check out. So I'll simply give a quick shout out for these videos, uh, for these channels, and then you can check them out in the description. So Christopher has Emacs plus some mixed content, for example, the typical Linux and Friends type of deal. Tony also has uh, Emacs ones, so mainly focused around Elif's tutorial. So, for example, if you want to learn more about the built-in ones, I believe he has some videos around that. I haven't watched them completely, so I'm not too sure, but I saw that he was consistently making some at the time. Next is Westbro, which is Emacs and with programming with Rust and other languages. So, if you're into Rust and Emacs, so this might be for you. Blackberry Boy uh, talks about Emacs, Org Mode, Linux, and Friends. So, there's the same thing with Skybird, except it's just Emacs with Linux plus Friends. Uh, Timber can I actually don't even know how to do that. It seems to be only Emacs focused. So if you just want a channel that talks about Emacs, I believe this person also has that, but I'm not sure how consistent um, they have been with uh, producing output. Because my what I was doing to filter out is that I was looking at people that have published within the last six months published content so if I missed you or you s there's another channel that I don't know about feel free to comment so that way other people know about it as well and it looks like I missed about published published what the heck there we go that was that's interesting yeah so next up is blogs where do you want to know about blogs so first up is if we go to this reddit thread 
we this Reddit thread asks, hey, what are some good Emacs blogs you read? And people just list out stuff. So Planet Life, this is more of a collections, I think. But yeah, you can definitely go here and just click all the links and just start reading on. Next up is Ereal. So Ereal is another blog as well that features other blogs here. So I like it. I learned some stuff from time to time. I don't check it as often as I should, but it is a good place to know more about Emacs. Next up is another blog that is made by me. So this blog I am trying to grow this year. I don't have anything out right now, but I'm planning on producing content, not just for Emacs, but for Python and productivity, things like that. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe or publish. I'm not publish, but follow or whatever the equivalent is in Medium. I'm still learning how to use it, but I plan on publishing content there pretty soon. Now other ways that you can learn that are not blogs or video, you can actually just use Twitter. That's what I was using for a bit to just learn about stuff. Just search for the hashtag Emacs and just, you know, just start reading, browsing around. And then of course Reddit, we have our Emacs a subreddit. We have org mode, space max and free max. There's probably more that I don't know about. If there are more, just comment below and let me know and let everybody else know. Of course, there is also the traditional way of IRC and just reading the good old manual. So for me at the beginning, I didn't know about the manual. So I resorted to Reddit and I believe YouTube to learn some stuff. But I mean, now that I know about the manual, that's pretty much, uh, well, I don't still always go there, but I do use it much more frequently now that I know about it and how to use it. There you have it folks, just a quick recap on where to learn about Emacs and to check out some other content creators. I don't know why people don't recommend other YouTubers. I think it's mainly because they want people just to stay in their channel, but I don't see the, I see why as to grow, but I also don't think that helps the community as a whole. Emacs community is already small. I think we need, um, we need to let it grow bigger and then we can start worrying about things like that. But for now, I don't really care. I just want people to learn. And this is some of the places that I saw that I was like, huh, people might be interested. So I just decided to share. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want more videos like this, like these. But yeah, remember, knowledge grows when it's shared. Thanks.